In this video, we'll be taking a look at the fourth golden rule of keyword research, which is commerciality. If you happen to break this rule, you run the risk of missing out on the most profitable keywords in your niche. Specifically, we'll be covering what commerciality is and why it's so important, how keyword commerciality is calculated, and how to find high commerciality keywords using Market Samurai. Commerciality is a measure of the potential profitability of a keyword phrase. A good way to understand this concept is to imagine that each keyword phrase is like a pipe that has a certain amount of monetary flow that you would like to tap into. A high commerciality keyword is like a wide pipe that has a strong monetary flow. If you successfully tap into a high commerciality keyword, you have the potential to generate a large amount of profits. A low commerciality keyword, on the other hand, is like a narrow pipe that has a weak monetary flow. If you happen to tap into a low commerciality keyword, you will most likely only generate a small amount of profits. Here's why the concept of commerciality is so important. Imagine that after setting up your website, you do some keyword research and find a keyword phrase that passes the first three golden rules. It is relevant to your site, it has high levels of traffic, and it has an acceptable level of competition. You then optimise your website for this phrase and manage to obtain the number one spot in Google. As a result, your website attracts a large number of visitors each day. The only problem is that no one seems to be interested in buying anything. One reason for this is that you may have unintentionally targeted a phrase that has a low level of commerciality. Before you select a phrase to target in your online business, it is therefore very important to check the commerciality of the keywords you're investigating. So let's head over to Market Samurai to see how this works. Here's my list of keyword phrases relating to dog training. The first thing I'd like to discuss is AdWords cost per click. So let me just come up here and click this checkbox. In order to understand what these numbers mean, we'll first need to take a quick look at Google AdWords. Whenever you do a search in Google, you'll notice that to the right of your search results, there are a collection of small advertisements. Each of these ads has been set up by an advertiser in order to generate leads to their business. Every time someone clicks on one of these ads, the advertiser pays Google an amount of money in exchange for getting a new visitor to their website. Since there are a lot of advertisers bidding for the top ad positions in Google, the AdWords system becomes similar to a stock market for business leads. Over time, as more advertisers bid for the top spots, this market determines what the keyword phrase is actually worth. The reason this works is because advertisers generally want to make more money than they spend. So if they are spending $3 per click in AdWords, it's because they can, on average, obtain more than $3 from each visitor to their website. Coming back to Market Samurai, this AdWords cost per click figure provides an indication of what the number one ranked advertiser is paying Google for each visitor who clicks on their Google ad. Based on our stock market analogy, it is also an indication of the commercial value of each visitor as set by the global AdWords market. Let me start by clicking on this column heading and listing my keywords from high to low value per visitor. If you look here, you can see that the phrase dog training courses has a value per visitor of $3.17, while the phrase dog training shop collar has a value per visitor of $3.15. Now you may initially think that dog training courses is a better keyword to target. However, the important thing to note is that this figure relates to the value per visitor. And if you look over here, you can see that the term dog training shop collar delivers a higher number of visitors per day than dog training courses. Therefore, in order to properly assess the commerciality of these phrases, what we really need to do 
is multiply the SEO traffic value by the AdWords cost per click value. If you're finding this a little confusing, please don't worry. The good news is that Market Samurai will do this calculation for you automatically and it makes assessing the commerciality of keyword phrases extremely easy. All I have to do is come up here and click the SEO value checkbox. Market Samurai then displays a new value with the heading SEO V. These SEO V numbers are calculated by multiplying the SEO traffic values and the AdWords cost per click, and in doing so it provides us with a great indicator of commercial value. The next thing I can do is to apply an SEO filter. To do this, I just come up here, click the plus sign and enter a value. For this example, I'm going to use the value of $30. Why $30? Well, because SEOV is calculated using daily traffic, using a value of $30 will filter out any keyword phrases that do not have a commercial flow of at least $900 per month. Now let me just sort my data by SEO value by clicking on this heading and let's take a look at two of our results. The top keyword phrase other than my original seed keyword is dog training shot collar. This SEO value figure indicates that this phrase provides $526 of commercial value to the number one ranked website in Google each and every day. In comparison, if I scroll down this list, I can see that the phrase dog training tip only provides a commercial value of $74 a day. If I was trying to decide which of these two keywords to target, I would be inclined to focus on dog training shop collar because it has a much higher level of commerciality. In other words, dog training shock collar is a wide pipe, while dog training tip is a narrow pipe. In the internet marketing world, there is often a lot of focus on finding high traffic keywords. But at Noble Samurai, we'd suggest that instead of just targeting high traffic keywords, you should also look to target keyword phrases with high levels of commerciality. This is a great way to maximise the return on investment of time and effort that goes into creating your online business. So just to recap, in this video we saw that commerciality provides an indication of the monetary flow associated with different keyword phrases. We saw that a useful way to calculate the commerciality of a phrase is to multiply its SEO traffic value by its AdWords cost per click value. And finally, we saw how to find high commerciality keywords using Market Samurai.